7th graders, welcome to your 5th lesson. We're going to be talking about how to graph proportional relationships. You guys learned in the previous lesson that a proportional relationship or is a ratio, whenever you take the numerator divided by the denominator, you get the same number. And a non-proportional relationship is where you're always getting something different whenever you take the numerator divided by the denominator. So in this lesson, what we're going to look at is how the graphs of proportional relationships look. So you're going to be able to see a graph, and you're going to be able to tell whether or not it's proportional or not proportional. Our objective is to identify proportional relationships by graphing. Our standards is seventh grade ratios and proportions, standard number two, seventh grade ratios and proportions, standard 2A. Let's go ahead and start this lesson. Make sure on the next slide you guys copy down your vocab because I'm not writing them on the board. They're going to be posted. Pause the video, copy them all down. Hopefully it's written nice and neat for you, and let's get going. In our first example, we're going to look at a real-life example talking about a tree slot. The slowest mammal on Earth um, is the tree slot. It moves at a speed of 6 feet per minute. Determine whether the number of feet the sloth moves is proportional to the number of minutes it moves by graphing on the coordinate plane, and we're going to explain that. So, let's start with minutes being our x value, because usually time is always your x value. And let's talk about feet being the y value. If the sloth moved for one minute, it would go six feet. If the sloth moved for two minutes, it could go 12 feet. If it moved for three minutes, it could go 18 feet. So what we have is we have enough information to make three points. So I know that if the sloth moved for one minute, it would go six feet based on the story problem because it moves at six feet per minute. So in one minute, it's going to go six feet. In two minutes, I'm going to do six plus six and get 12. In three minutes, I'm going to add six to 12, and I'm going to get 18. So this is how fast the sloth is moving. What we're told to do is we're actually told to graph this and explain whether or not um, this is a proportional relationship or not a proportional relationship. And I'm going to teach you a trick after we have the graph to determine whether or not a proportional relationship exists. So we're going to make the graph. So I'm going to make a graph in quadrant number one. Because it's impossible for the slot, for time to go backwards. Time is always going to go forwards. So I'm going to start with my x value being a positive number. Here's one minute, two minutes, three minutes, and four minutes. And I'm going to label the bottom axis as minutes. It's always important to label your axis. And remember that the line that goes left and right is your x-axis. So you label it as your x-axis. This is my y-axis. It's the line that goes up and down. And I said that my y is going to be feet, so we label it as feet. And I'm going to say that the tree sloth goes 6 feet, 12 feet, and 18 feet. Whatever you use for your marks on the left side, make sure that they're about equal distance apart, and make sure you're counting by the same unit as you go up. I went by 6 as I went up. Now, this point would represent 0. Now, think about this. We know that in one minute, a tree sloth goes six feet. So I go over to one minute, I go to, or we have one minute, I go to six feet, and I'm going to put a dot. I go over to two minutes, I go to 12 feet, I put another dot. Three minutes, 18 feet, I put another dot. I'm going to go ahead and connect these dots. This is important for figuring out whether a graph is proportional. If a graph is proportional, it's going to make a straight line, but it also has to do one other thing. Think about this. If a sloth moved for zero minutes, so it's not moving in zero minutes, would it go any distance in feet? If the answer is no, you're going to start at zero, zero. So, in order to be a proportional graph, your graph has to start at the origin and make a straight line. So if you take information that's given to you, and you start at the origin, and you make a straight line when you graph it, that's proportional. If you make a graph that makes a straight line, but doesn't start at the origin, that's not proportional. So what you want to do is see if you can make a graph that goes to the origin and makes a straight line based on the information given. Let's go ahead and try another problem. Before we do that, though, 
Let's go ahead and explain this. This graph is proportional, because it says explain, so we'd say yes, it's proportional. It goes through 0, 0, and makes a straight line. So in order for us to say that a graph is proportional, it has to do both of these things. If it only does one of these things, it's not proportional. So we could have a graph that goes through zero but doesn't make a straight line. That's not proportional. We can have a graph that doesn't go through zero and makes a straight line. That's not proportional. It has to go through zero and make a straight line. That's proportional. So make sure that you explain, because that's what the directions told us to do. This is my answer, and it tells me that I understand what a proportional relationship is. Let's go ahead and do another problem. I apologize for not doing this answer earlier. In this example, we're going to talk about the cost of renting video games from Games, Inc. The amount that it costs to rent a video game is shown in this table. Our job is to make a graph and determine whether or not a proportional relationship exists and explain how we know or how we don't know. So it says video game rent, the number of games that you get. If you get one game, it's going to cost you $3. Two games, it's going to cost you $5. Three games, $7. Four games, $9. We're going to graph this and determine whether or not it's proportional. Remember, if it's proportional, it has to make a straight line, has to go through the origin. If it's not proportional, it can make a straight line and not go through the origin, or it could go through the origin but not make a straight line. So we're going to graph this and see if it's proportional or not. So again, we're going to graph the first quadrant. I'm going to put games down below. And I'm going to put money on the left side. I'm going to put one game, two games, three games, and four games. I'm going to put, so this goes all the way up to nine. So count by maybe twos. This is two. Four, six, eight, and ten. And this would be zero. So, we're going to graph this information. If we get one game, it's going to cost us three dollars. Now, three dollars would be in between two and four. So, I'm going to put a dot kind of like right in the middle of two and four, right there. That would be one game, three dollars. Two games, it's going to cost me five dollars. That's in between four and six. Go down right there. Three games, it's going to cost me $7. So here's six, it's between six and eight. That's $7 for three games. I'm going to move it just a little bit over here. Four games, it's going to be $9. So that's right about right here, because here is eight. So if we connect this, this does in fact make a straight line. But if you continue the straight line, will it go through the origin? So based on my graph, um, this graph isn't 100% great. Um, the line should be going something like this, so I apologize. So based on my graph, this is not a proportional relationship. It does make a straight line, but it doesn't go through the origin. So what we're looking at is a graph that's non-proportional. Because, again, it makes a straight line, but doesn't go through the origin. So you would say not proportional. And the reason why is it doesn't go through zero, zero. In order to be proportional, it has to do both things. It does make a straight line, so we can't say it's not proportional because it makes a straight line. We've got to say it's not proportional because it doesn't go through zero, zero. Let's do another problem, and then we're about done. In the next example, what we're going to do is we're going to look at a problem where there's two graphs actually happening. These are actually two things already graphed for you. Our job is to figure out which one of these represents a proportional relationship and explain how we know. So it says, which batting cage represents a proportional relationship between the number of pitches thrown and the cost? Our job is to explain how we know. So here we have softball plus. Look, it's a straight line, but it doesn't go through the origin. Here we have Fun Center. It's a straight line, and it does go through the origin. So the question is, which one of these graphs does go through the origin and makes a straight line? Fun Center. 
You're absolutely right. Which means that fun center is our proportional relationship. So we say this is proportional because it goes through 0, 0 and fits a straight line. So we would say everything here, because the directions say we have to explain our reasoning. So we need to explain how we know what a proportional relationship is or isn't. So this is proportional because it makes a straight line and it goes through the origin. This is not proportional because it makes a straight line, but it doesn't go through the origin. In order to be proportional, it has to do both things. So we're going to call that proportional. We're going to leave it right there. Reminder, when graphing and proportional relationships, it has to make a straight line, has to go through an origin. We're going to practice graphing in the classroom. You guys got three examples. That's all you really need for today. Make sure um, you have some questions to ask. If you need help graphing, please ask that question. I will by all means go over how to graph coordinates, and we'll figure that out together. Hopefully you like this video. Hopefully you find it good because it's short. Hit that notification bell. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to this channel so that way anytime I upload new video, you get those updates. Thank you, and I'll see you tomorrow.